Welcome everyone. My name is Matthew Bowton and I'm the CEO of Gear Grind. We're excited to have you with us today. Gear Grind's mission statement is Gear Grind is dedicated to revolutionizing the cycle industry through innovative 3D printing technology. We are committed to providing high quality bikes that enhance performance, style, and sustainability. By pushing the boundaries of design and manufacturing, we empower cyclists to personalize the ride and contribute to a greener future. To accomplish this mission, we have six objectives. Act with integrity in everything we do. Treat everyone fairly and value diversity. Offer excellent customer service. Create shareholder value. Build strong relationships and focus on environmentally responsive markets. GearGrind has three target segments. The first is speed bikes, with our product offerings being the best speed and the G-speed. The second market we target is recreation bikers, with our product offerings the B-recreation and the G-recreation. And the third market segment we target is mountain bikers, with the B-mountain and the G-mountain product offerings. Gear Grind in its first three quarters was able to secure nearly 17 of total market share. This is due to our enticing price point. Owning a luxury bike has been out of reach for many before Gear Grind's revolutionary 3D printing technology was released to the market. This allows our bikes to be priced well below the price customers are willing to pay, coupled with our fantastic rebate program, has made the luxury bike experience more accessible to consumers across the market. There is still a lot of room for improvement as well as market share to capture. In addition, Grugrind was able to capture nearly 17% market share due to having products for all categories of riders. Our market research indicates that there are three main categories of rider, including recreation, mountain, and speed. Grugrind has products in all three market categories, recreation, mountain, and speed. In addition, we have budget-friendly options as well as a premium product offering in each product category. Further building upon this customization is each bike is custom scanned and printed to per perfectly fit each customer. Geargrind can meet most customers where they live and currently has locations in three of the four major markets. We're currently in Amsterdam, Rio de Janeiro, and Bangalore. We are working on opening up our new location in New York City, and that's one of the reasons why we're meeting today. We need some additional capital to be able to meet these goals. Geargrind had cumulative market performance in Q3 of 0.122. This was not the worst in the market, but also below average. We are working on improving this, and we are in great need of increased capital to be able to meet our current goals. Geargrind was able to capture an impressive 17% of the market in Q3, and there's room for capturing market share from our competitors. Next, we're going to discuss the past financial performance of Geargrind. In Q3, we were able to have an impressive 6.521 fiscal financial performance. This is well above the industry average of 5.405, and we're confident that we'll be able to continue improving in the future. The first decision that GearGrind made that had an impact on past financial performance was an underestimation of needed capacity. This underestimation of needed capacity led to limited supply and negatively affected our market share. This projected demand in Q2 was 761, yet our operating capacity was a measly 195. This led to over 600 potential consumer sales being turned away. GearGrind is in desperate need of more operating capital in order to keep up a demand in order to not turn away potential customers. This increased operating capacity will be able to blow, past our, blow our past financial performance out of the water. The second financial decision that negatively impacted our past financial performance was advertising. Advertisements in Q1 and Q2 were not tailored to the appropriate target audience. And as a result, our competitors captured more market share than we anticipated. 
In Q3, a financial decision was made to invest heavily in market research to better understand our target audience and overhaul our marketing campaign. This investment will better position GearGrind to reach our target audience and grow our market share by poaching consumers from our competitors. Moving on, we're going to go over a SWOT analysis for GearGrind as well. <clears throat> GearGrind's greatest strength is its strong investment for the future. We are heavily investing both in our R&D departments as well as in our employees. This gives GearGrind a competitive edge in the market. GearGrind's greatest weakness was our underwhelming, underwhelming market success. Due to our fledging market marketing campaign that was not tailored to our correct target audience, GearGrind only captured 17% market share in Q3. This leads to our greatest opportunity, which is penetrating the New York City market with a new store location opening in Q4. This will enable GearGrind to pro poach market share from our competitors. Our market research indicates that New York City is one of the markets that our competitors have a strong hold in, and being able to break into this market will greatly improve our market share potential. Unfortunately, this is also GearGrind's greatest threat. Our main competitor, Back to Bike. Back to Bike was able to capture 33% of the market share. They're dominating this market and are our greatest threat to financial success. They also hold a commanding 39% of the recreation bike market and 37% of the speed bike market. To combat these, GearGrind has a solid investment plan for the additional $2.5 million in funding we are seeking to raise. The first is invest in employee well-being initiatives. The better our employees are taken care of, the more productive they'll be and the better customer service they'll provide to our customers. The second is to improve quality and inspection. GearGrind is still a fledging organization and many of our customers have had to fill out warranty claims on our bikes and we want to give them a better experience. We want to increase our sales force headcount in order to better penetrate the New York City market. We want to update We want to update and modernize our marketing campaign including utilizing a social media marketing campaign as well as better targeted ads to better reach our intended audience. We also want to increase our operating capacity. We're going to do this by investing heavily into more 3D printers. That way we don't have any stock outs like we had in quarter two. These funds will also enable GearGrind to open a new location in New York City. These investments will better our employees' experience, our customers' experience, as well as better position us to capture market share. As part of this investment plan, we have a robust marketing strategy. We will invest heavily in increasing your social, our social media presence and meet our consumers where they are in their own homes and on their mobile devices. Further building upon this, we'll be increasing our advertising budget so that way we'll be able to have better targeted ads to our consumers. In addition, we'll be releasing the updated B Mountain 2 to capture the fledging mountain bike market. Furthermore, we'll be having R&D improvements, provide better bikes to our consumers, and further distinguish us from our competitors. Further building upon this marketing strategy is our sales channel strategy. Our market research showed that New York City is a prime market, and as a result, we're going to be opening a New York City location in Q4. To better support our current stores as well as a New York City location, we're going to increase our store staff and also increase our sales force. This will better enable GearGrind to support our customers while also capturing more market share from our cons competitors. We'll also have a robust human resource strategy. GearGrind already has in, in play compensation packages better than our comp competition, and we're going to continue this into quarters three through six. We'll accomplish this by having a 1% salary increase every quarter, offering better than market value medical care and medical coverage, providing more generous vacation packages than our competitors, and increasing pension contributions every quarter by 1%. Furthermore, we're gonna be investing in worker training, including cross-training opportunities. This will enable our employees to be able to transition to other roles within our organization. 
as well as be well equipped for their future roles after they leave our organization. In addition, we're going to be offering additional benefits such as employee tuition reimbursement program to allow our employees to further their own education. We're also going to be offering a fitness center on site so that way our staff can stay in shape and benefit from or and escape and blow off some steam from the competitive and stressful sales environment. In addition, we're going to have an on-site medical clinic to be able to support our staff as well as to make sure that they have access to top-tier medical care at an affordable rate. Another key component of Gear Grind's investment strategies are a manufacturing strategy. In quarters one through three, Gear Grind had a slow start and had built building fixed capacity. In quarters four through six, we'll be adding a combined total of 72 to our fixed capacity. This will come at a significant cost of nearly a million dollars for both quarters four and quarter five, and we'll be tapering down this investment in quarter six. This will allow our available fixed capacity to grow continually from the 1,560 we had in quarter three, all the way up to 7,280 by the end of quarter six. In addition, Geargrind has been focusing on reducing percentage loss capacity due to production and productivity. In quarter three, we were able to bring that percentage down to 29% and we'll continue that trend of 29% loss capacity due to production productivity through quarters four, five, and six. Geargrind started with a very small production volume of zero in our test market in quarter one and had a slow start in quarter two with a production volume of 135. Due to heavy investments in quarter two and three, I mean quarters two and one, pardon me, quarter three was able to increase our production volume to 694. With our increased investment in 3D printers to build our fixed capacity, our production volume in quarter four is projected to be 13 to 50. In quarter five, we'll further build upon that with 2,040. In quarter six, we'll see our largest production volume of 2,860. In quarter two, we had 626 lost sales due to not having the proper production volume. We have resolved production issues and anticipate zero loss sales going forward. In addition, we have been reducing our average unit production costs in quarter two. They were 865. In quarter three, we are at nearly half that with 468, and we continue a steady continue incremental drop in quarters four, five, and six, resulting in quarter six having an estimated average unit production cost of 415. This will be due to the increased fixed capacity and the economies of scale that we'll be operating on. Gear Grind has seen our total production cost increase each quarter, and we anticipate this trend to continue to increase as we're ramping up production increasing our sales force and investing heavily in our 3D printing capacity. The final facet of our investment strategy is our financial strategy. We will continue to invest in CD investments. That way we'll be able to continue to receive a stable return on investment and interest from our bank CD investments. In addition, we'll continue to raise funds through equity sales and we're striving for $2.5 million and equity raised in order to fund the other facets of our investment strategy. Some of these improvements will include system improvements in production that will, that way we can reduce our cost per unit as well as provide premier customer service to our customers. In addition, we'll be investing heavily into research and development, including a light carbon fiber frame and technologies that will improve our production processes. In addition, we'll be working on a waste management reduction in our production cycle. That way we'll be able to further increase our productivity as an organization. We anticipate many benefits from implementing our investment strategy. The first will be improved brand recognition. This will result from improving our brand quality, having better targeted ads to our consumers, as well as our increased social media presence. This will enable us to capture a greater market share. And the second benefit will be improved work and morale motivation. This will lead to a more engaged workforce while allowing us to retain our top talent. As we take good care of our employees, they'll 
take even better care of our consumers. Building upon this will be increased customer satisfaction. As our customers are more satisfied, they'll be willing to spend more money with our product offerings, as well as improve our overall market share. Another benefit will be improved production efficiency. This will lower our cost of production per unit and will improve our profitability as an organization overall. There are four actionable steps your grind will be taking as part of this investment strategy. The first two relate to our human resources strategy. The first is employee compensation. We'll be increasing salaries 1% per quarter, as well as offering better than industry standard medical vacation and packages, as well as a 1% increase per quarter in pension contributions. The second step will be employee cross-training. Cross-training our employees will enable them to fill in for outages due to sickness or illness within our organization, while also giving them the opportunity for mobility within our company further building upon their own skills and allowing them better market and job opportunities in the future should they choose to work for another organization. The next two actionable steps relate to our marketing strategy. The next step will be increasing our social media presence. This will enable us to meet our consumers directly in the palm of their hands. This will help build better branding as well as improve our market share as an organization. The final actionable step builds upon the prior and is better targeted advertisements. This will enable us to reach our intended customers, build better brand loyalty, and improve our overall profitability. Thank you for your time and consideration today. I'm looking forward to working with you as we empower cyclists to personalize their ride and contribute to a greener future. Thank you again.